Happy Monday and good morning, boys and girls. Um, I hope you had a great weekend indoors and, you know, played some games probably. Maybe you did some exercise. Maybe you read. Um, so anyway, this week or today, what are we doing today? Today you um, are going to go on Spelling City. Your Unit 12 vocabulary words are already there. And you're going to go ahead and just, you know, practice your words um, doing the different activities in Spelling City. Um, we are, I think I gave you week 20 or week 19 of your bell ringer. So you're going to continue your bell ringer um, for this week. Start with day one. Um, you also have Los Eagles uh, chapter to read. So I uploaded a YouTube video of a read aloud um, of Los Eagles. So you can listen to the read aloud or and follow along, you know, um, with the chapter in your book. Or you can just, you know, read it independently, however you want. But I went ahead and posted the link so you could listen to the chapter to the read aloud of Los Eagles. I also posted the vocabulary slides. Um, hopefully there aren't any mistakes this time on any of the pages. Um, but I did post the vocabulary slides for Los Eagles so you can go ahead and work on your vocabulary. Um, today's math lesson is on mixed numbers and the video is the one in brain pop that I showed you um, in class on Monday but I'm gonna go over really quick of like what is a mixed number. So a mixed number is for example every time you say one and a half, um, every time we say uh, two and a third, um, those are mixed numbers. It's a whole number and a fraction. So, for example, um, if I say one and a half, okay, that is a mixed number. It has a whole number and it has a fraction. So it's a mixed number, okay? Um, all right, mixed number, okay? Now, a mixed number is also kind of an improper fraction. Um, it means it's three over two, okay? This is the improper fraction, okay? And I think I talked about this last week where I said, um, you know, mixed numbers and improper fractions are always greater than one okay a regular fraction is going to be less than one but an improper fraction and a mixed number are always greater than one and what you notice in the improper fraction is what that the numerator is greater than the denominator so every time you see that the numerator is greater okay that means that this a fraction is improper and that it's greater than one and then we can always switch it into a mixed number how do you do that so let's say I have um, 10 eighths okay so my numerator is greater than my denominator so it's improper it's not a proper fraction so I know it's greater than one. So I ask myself, well, how many times does eight go into 10? So again, it goes back to multiplication and division. How many times does eight go into 10? So eight goes into 10 one time, right? Or I mean, eight divided by 10 is one, okay? And you're left with a remainder of how many? Two. So two over eight. Now, you're probably like, oh, Ms. Hernandez, we could simplify this. Yes, we can. We can simplify this one, okay? So then this will equal 1. The greatest common factor between 2 and 8 is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this is simplified, okay? So again, this is improper. This is mixed, and this was simplified, okay? Now, um, an activity today, I think you had to also um, change mixed fractions back to improper fractions. So let's say I have three and um, five.
five, six. That's a big mixed number. Okay, um, what do I do to change it back to an improper fraction? Well, you go this way, you multiply. So you multiply six times three, which equals 18. And then you add your numerator plus five. So 18 plus five is 23. So your improper fraction is 23 over six. Your denominator is always, always going to stay the same. Okay? And that's, that's our mini lesson today on mixed numbers and improper fractions. Go ahead and watch the Brain Pop video and try to complete um, the, the practice sheet um, that's in your packet. Um, if you have any questions, then let me know. That's for math. For social studies, oh, it's getting so good. Um, I You're reading chapter 11 and 12. Um, and go ahead and, you know, they have there's a snowstorm. And then they arrive to the city of Stillwater. So continue reading. Um, it's very intense, uh, the the, the story that we're reading uh, with Will and Henry. Um, and I posted two discussion questions. And I'm sorry, on Friday I forgot to post the other discussion questions. So they're there now. So you have discussion questions for chapters 9, 10, 11, and 12 um, for guns for General Washington. I'm going to be posting an American Revolution quiz um, sometime this week. Um, I'll post a video to review what's going to be on it um, before I assign it to you. And that's basically it. There's one thing I wanted to start new today um, because who knows how long we're going to be home. Um, what I wanted to start was a diary entry and um, I will go ahead and send everybody a Google Doc and you know every day and you can also practice your writing i want you to type you know a couple of sentences um just reflecting on you know what's going on what you're doing um anything anything like i said it's it's a diary entry of you know what yeah of what's going on what maybe what you've you know um seen in the news uh maybe what you're trying to do so that time passes by quickly at home um, you know, whatever you want to write about, I'm going to go ahead and start, send that today so we can, you know, start a diary entry today. And before I leave, uh, you today, I know today's video is kind of long. Um, what's funny is that I, I was thinking, um, back when I was in high school, I think I was a freshman or a sophomore in high school. I had to write an essay and, it was, you know, how do we see teaching in the future? This was before I even wanted to become a teacher. I, you know, um, I was just like, hmm, how do I see teaching in the future? And guess what? I wrote about teachers, uh, you know, recording themselves or like a screen and the students were learning from the teacher on the screen. I think I said it was a robot. But I was like, uh, in my essay, I remember I wrote, you know, a, a screen will come down and, you know, we're not going to have real teachers in front of us anymore. We're going to have, we're going to learn, we're going to be learning from this, uh, you know, robot or like this video um, and they're going to teach us. And that's pretty crazy because that's what's happening. I'm, you know, I'm trying to teach you or, you know, um, show you what to do for your assignments today through a screen, right? Which is, you know, who would have ever, who would have ever known? Oh, I hear a baby crying. But anyway, okay, um, ask me any questions or write any comments uh, regarding today's assignments. And I will be here um, in the Google Classroom answering um, any questions that you might have, uh, look out for emails um, or, you know, assignments posted on the Google class today. Watch the videos and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.